Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally getting it. It is the Nintendo Direct we have been waiting for for about a year and a half, 530 days to be exact. We are getting a Nintendo Direct that is coming February 17th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I am very hyped for this. When I woke up today, I was super excited to see this when I woke up. So what we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be talking about a little bit of predictions of what we might see in this Direct. So what Nintendo tweeted out was we're going to see what's coming up for Nintendo in the first half of 2021. So let's talk about some of the predictions that we might see in this Nintendo Direct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the fun part of this video. The meat of the video is predicting what's going to be in this Nintendo Direct. So what Nintendo just tweeted out is we're getting a Nintendo Direct that's going to be roughly about 50 minutes. And it's going to be covering the first half of 2021, what Nintendo has for us. And it's also going to be covering some Smash Bros. Ultimate stuff. I believe we might get some later in the year uh, 2021 stuff because Nintendo has tweeted stuff like this before and uh, they kind of mislead it sometimes and we do get maybe a something at the end that might be later in 2021. But for my first prediction, what we're going to be going over is Hollow Knight Silk Song. I believe 100% we are going to see this in the Nintendo Direct. The reason why is last time we saw this game was in E3 2019 in Nintendo's presentation. And this, the first game of this sold phenomenal on the Nintendo Switch. And it's one of my favorite games, probably my top 10 favorite game of all time. And I would love to see more of this stuff, what Team Cherry's been working on, because they are a phenomenal uh, group of guys producing some stuff. And I love their 2D Metroid uh, take on Hollow Knight. So hopefully we get to see some more Hollow Knight Silk Song in this uh, Nintendo Direct. The second prediction I believe that we might see not highly, but the reason why I believe we didn't get any DLC for it when the first game came out is Super Mario Party 2. I love Super Mario Party. That was one of my favorite uh, games coming back to the Super Mario Party series. So I'm hoping we're going get, to get to see maybe what's new for the Mario Party series because uh, we didn't get DLC for that game. And I was wanting more for that because there was only, I think, four or five maps and they had the rhythm uh, dancing stuff. And they also had uh, the teamwork stuff, but I feel like since that game sold very well, I think it was like one of the top 10 or top 15 selling Switch games in the last four years. I think that deserves uh, credentials to make a second game for that. The third game, this is going out on a limb. Don't know if we're going to see it yet, but we did have rumors for this for a while. I remember, I forgot who it was, but they were predicting that Paper Mario would come, which we did get it. And then there was also supposed to be a 2D Metroid. So there have been rumors uh, talking about a 2D Metroid that it might be a Super Metroid remake or it might be a spin-off of Fusion going into like a sequel territory of that. I would love to see a 2D Metroid. However, if we don't see it this time, I said my first prediction, we wanted to see Hollow Knight Silk Song. I do think we're going to see that. So maybe they don't show that because it's kind of like a Metroidvania style game. But I would love to see a 2D Metroid because I don't think we're going to see Metroid Prime 4. So that's not coming in my predictions. But I do believe we might get a chance of seeing what's new for the Metroid series. My fourth prediction of what we might see is a big one because they already talked about it with Smash Bros. Ultimate. So the fourth prediction was maybe seeing Crash Bandicoot in Smash. I believe this makes the most sense. It was a Sony exclusive. We don't really have that many uh, Sony characters <clears throat> in Smash Bros. Ultimate, but it's not ex exclusive to Sony anymore. It would be perfect to see Mario, Crash, and uh, seeing Steve from Minecraft and Microsoft, all three of those characters from three of the biggest publishers, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, all in Smash. So I would love to see Crash Bandicoot. All right, on to my fifth prediction and this is kind of one of my most wanted games i want to see we got a port of it uh this year in october and that was pikmin 3 deluxe now for my fifth prediction i want to see pikmin 4 it has been so long since miyamoto has talked about uh pikmin 4 i think he talked about maybe five years ago that was almost uh done i know it's been a meme everyone predicts pikmin 4 coming out in the directs but I just feel like this is the right time for Pikmin 4 to be shown off. Maybe a spring title game. I love the Pikmin series. I think more people need to get into it. 
Hopefully Pikmin 3 sold a little bit better. I think it did towards uh, the end of the year. But I think Pikmin 4 would be a great game for the Switch. Probably wouldn't be the best selling because it's a very niche game. But it has been one of my favorite games. Introduced it to my girlfriend. We played it a lot. Played the bingo battles. Got very competitive with that. But I just feel like Pikmin 4 would be a great spring game coming out this year if they show it for the first half of 2021 in the Nintendo Direct. All right, on to my last three predictions. And these ones are getting a little bit spicy and juicy. So the first one I want to talk about is uh, the Zelda 35th Anniversary Collection. I believe we are probably going to get this. This is probably like 80 to 70% chance because last year for the Mario 35th, we got uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I do think for the Zelda 30th, 35th I mean, uh, I do believe we're going to get a collection of that too. And I feel like it would be great if they did Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess for Zelda. Zelda is like one of my biggest franchises. I definitely want to see some Zelda content in this Direct. And I think maybe the last half of this Direct, they go into a Zelda 35th anniversary for this Direct. So if we could see Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess all in a bundle, that would be great for the Zelda 35th anniversary collection. And I do believe this is uh, very uh, probable because in the Wii U, we had the Wind Waker port. So that would be easy to put on this uh, this collection. We also had the Twilight Princess Princess HD remake on the Wii U, so they could port that right over. And the one tricky one is, what are they going to do with Ocarina of Time? Uh, are they going to upscale it, or are they just going to keep the same, kind of like what they did with uh, the Mario 64 and the 3D All-Stars? However, hopefully, what I'm hoping for is at least making it at full screen, and doing a little bit of upscaling to make that game look better. Or even, maybe with the 3DS remake, they just put that 3DS remake in there. Alright, on to the last two, and they're both Zelda. I do believe the rumors of the HD remake for Skyward Sword is coming. I believe that is uh, the only game that hasn't been remade for any uh, Nintendo console since the Wii. And it's its 10th anniversary for that game. And I love it. I know some people don't love that game. It's probably one of their least favorite Zeldas, but it's honestly one of my favorite. So I believe the HD remake for Skyward Sword will come out in the Zelda 35th, kind of towards the end of the Direct, we'll see that. And last but not least, my most wanted game is Breath of the Wild 2. And I do think it makes an appearance here because I feel like they do need to talk about this. Just like Hollow Knight, they showed it off in the 2019 E3 Direct. I think it is time to show off what Breath of the Wild 2 is. Maybe a little gameplay. It might just be a teaser trailer or something like that. But I do think they're going to do that one more thing uh, at the Nintendo Direct where they usually do. Uh, and I feel like they're just going to show it. They're going to show a trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. For some reason, I just really believe this. And hopefully they give a, a release date. If not, maybe a release window. I'm thinking either the late summer or it will be a holiday title game. I know that goes against of what Nintendo tweeted that they said, oh, they're only going to show the first half of 2021. However, I do believe Breath of the Wild 2 has not been shown off. I feel like a lot of Nintendo fans will be upset or worried about this game because it's almost been two years since they uh, said anything about this game. So hopefully they show something of Breath of the Wild 2. Alright, so that is all I have for my predictions video for this Nintendo Direct. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see or what you are predicting for this Nintendo Direct. All this is speculative, no non-leaks. I just wanted to make this fun little short video before the Direct. I also want to make a follow-up video of my reactions of this Nintendo Direct. So look out for that too. And this is Yoni, signing off.